Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to open up with Psalm 23, which is the center verse. For this prayer conference. Psalm 23. Really talk about the good shepherd. And it shows the goodness of God. my shepherd I have all that I need he set he let me rest in green meadows he leads me beside peaceful streams he renews my strength he guides me along the right path bring honor to his name even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. There we go. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Like we said, Psalm 23 is a sum of God's goodness. It describes God's character and his doing in your life. Sure. See, most of the time, and this is something that I grew up with, that God they have no ounce of goodness in him in the Old Testament. That's not true. Yes. God always had mercy and grace and goodness with it. Yeah, Go to Genesis 23. Grace and mercy made tunic of skin and clothed Adam and Eve. From the beginning, from Genesis, grace and mercy was with God. Yeah. Now, when people think of Jesus, they'll be like, no, that's grace. Uh-uh, grace was always there. The Jesus became the physical form of God's grace. Right. It's always been there. And we say that God's character never changed. So if he's a gracious God now, meaning he was a gracious God before. That's right. Christ becomes the physical form of what God had towards his children all along. Yes. Yes. And then verse 5, I skip to verse 5, it says, You prepare a feast, a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Let's break down enemies. The definition of enemies is a person who is actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. I'm going to take NC for example. If I am actively opposing or, or hostile to, to Nancy, 
then I'm, I am her enemy. But here's the thing about enemy. Here's why the defi definition is that way. Because men, we're so focused in our naked eye, so you see me. But you don't see the lesion and the enemies and the yes. demons that making me acting towards Nancy that way. Yes. Yes. So sometimes we're so focusing on hating the person, yes. but you don't understand what's going on behind the whole scene in the spiritual realm. Yes. So the definition is saying like that, a person, because that's what the naked eyes can see. You can see the person that is cursing you, that's persecuting you, that is being envious or jealous or whatever it is. You see in the person, but in the spiritual realm, there's so many things going on. Yes. You don't see how that person is literally being the puppet of the enemy to attack you. Oh my gosh, that, that, that person literally becoming the instrument for to, to destroy you. So we must be smart. We must be very smart. Must be very smart that somebody you are close with or somebody, a family member that you are close with and you see them starting acting funny. You'll be like, oh, but what kind of demon is there? Let's see what kind of demon is working over time. But that, that wasn't you. That's not you. What's going on? Right, right. And this is where argument starts. Yeah. And this is when Baba la me sister because God they just got them. No, they be here. No, they gonna die. We don't talk no more. That's what the enemy loves. Let me be like, yes, I win. Like, what's up? Yes, let's go. Yeah. But no, guys, let's change our perspective yes. and see that it's not the person. The person, like I was saying before. It all match. I'm a child of God. Ness is a child of God. Karma is a child of God. And God said we are made in His image. image. Like in likeness. Yes. So if Ness is starting acting funny or weird towards me, I can't start bashing her because she is made out of God's image and likeness. What I can do, I can try to check and see if she has stepped outside the image of God yes. and see if she's being ungodly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. She portraying, yes. And if she is, it is our job as brothers and sisters to say, Nancy, come back to your image and like this. Yes. Because right now you're stepping out mm -hmm. the way you are. And you're letting the enemy using you to attack me. The real enemy is not in a physical form. Right. Ephesians say we do not fight against the real enemy is in a spiritual form. Yes. And this is why we must pray to fight our battle. Yes. Because it's a spiritual thing. Yes. And the only way you can handle something spiritual is through prayer. Amen. I didn't plan to go that way. I went too far. It's good. I want y'all to think something else. Because she's still your sister. Yeah. And if she, when she make it, amen, to heaven, see, what you think she talk about it then? Before she die. What are you going to tell God? I don't like her. Can you switch my spot? <laughs> my table? <laughs> Can you switch my table, please? <laughs> I don't like her. But guys, when we say that, that verse, verse 5, you prepare the feast, a table in the presence of my enemies, please do not think about your brothers and sisters. They are your brothers and sisters. I want you to think that God is restoring you, He's delivering you, and He's preparing, preparing a table in the presence of our ultimate enemy, enemy yes. which is the devil himself. Evil. The evil was yes. point blank, period. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Anything.
thing that is manifesting in the physical realm, there's something spiritual attached yes, to it. Yes, Before you quickly go, look in the spiritual side. Yes. Look in the spiritual side and see what's going on. Yes. 